Hello, this is Bird, and if you're interested in finding out how to find the most amazing lover and soulmate in 2016, stick around because I'll be sharing with you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited right now to be sharing with you my first video of 2016, which is how to create that connection to the most amazing lover and soulmate today, this year, <laughs> this month. And the way to do that is I'm gonna share with you right now, regardless of what you went through last year, regardless of if you have your heart recently broken or not, if you've never been able to create this kind of result, this kind of connection, if you know that it exists because you've seen it in movies and your friends, but you've never felt it, it is definitely possible to feel it. And these four steps that I'm gonna give you right now will give you a tremendously higher chance of you getting it sooner, okay? first one is focus on being the light. What does that mean? Focus on being the light is you being the kind of woman who is so connected to amazing stuff in her own life that she becomes a source of radiance, a source of brilliance, a source of aliveness, a source of passion. Because when you are that, when you're filling your emotional tank and your love tank with not just self-love and self-care, but also the things that make you feel connected and happy and alive, you become that person that when you enter a room, men feel something shifting inside of them. They feel it in their heart, they feel it in their root chakra, they feel it everywhere, and it affects them at a level where they can't even think. They just get this weird sense, and it's you. It's your magic, right? So focusing on being the light is gonna be a primary way where you'll be able to get this. Why? Because you can do all the things to make it work, the practical things, the online dating, the whole thing. If you're coming at it from an angle of not being that source of radiance, it's gonna be an exponential challenge for you, where if you just center on this, then things start happening for you. Somebody stops you in the middle of the road. Somebody sees you from across the room and says, oh my God, I need to connect with her, and goes over and gives you his phone number, asks for your number. That happens so often when you focus on being the light. Number two, drop to your heart. I cannot tell you how many women I connect with who wanna get this love thing going, but they're so stuck in their heads that they don't get a chance to really feel what's out there and they never get a chance to connect to a man from a place of truth and honesty and giving him the space to feel seen and heard and absolutely loved by someone right and when you allow yourself to go from your mind to your heart as a primary mode of conversation a primary mode of being that makes a huge difference in your ability to dramatically shorten the time span it takes for you to create this so how do you do this you're driving drop to your heart you're all in your head thinking about your wall domination plans, drop to your heart and ask yourself, what am I feeling? What is the truth of this moment? Notice what's going on, become fully present. Same thing happens when you're connecting to a guy. Instead of being all in your head, judging him, thinking, going five steps ahead, can he be the bad father of my children? Come back to your heart. What is this man telling me? Where is his heart? What is he feeling? How do I feel next to him? Does he have good energy or bad vibes? Like, What am I feeling? Get to the truth of what you're feeling. Connect to it as a mode of practice. Make this your practice, connect to your heart. When you communicate with people, when you enter rooms, when you talk on the phone, like drop to your heart. Number three, risk it daily. What do I mean by that? Risking it daily simply means that you're gonna make a commitment this year that if there's something out there that you want to do that is scary as shit, but it's gonna help you get what you want, you're gonna take, you're gonna do it fully or you're gonna take some steps to make it happen. Why do I say this? Because if you're the kind of woman who's taking more risks daily, what bigger risk is there than giving your heart completely to someone? There is no bigger risk. But if you're not doing, there's smaller things than that that you're not taking action on, the likelihood that you're gonna open your heart and give to someone is very small. So by you connecting every single day with things that are scary but good for you, and you take that step, you lean over the edge, and you see it, and you stand in that, and that becomes more comfortable for you, that risking it, that getting uncomfortable is gonna become your best ally to be able to A, connect to a man and be able to gauge where he's coming from and B, if he's the right guy, be willing to go more, go the distance, go the heart. And through that, being able to create the kind of attraction, devotion, passion in him that, again, as I said before, he doesn't know what hit him, but he knows he must move forward because if he doesn't, then he's risking and he's missing big time. Fourth step, have standards that are proportional to your awesomeness. What do I mean by this? I, again, connect to a lot of women who have an amazing standard of what they want to experience, but they're not focusing on being the light. They're not dropping to their heart. They're connecting from their minds. They're not risking it. 
and they still have the high standards. So let me tell you something. If you have high standards without being that person who should have the high standards, it's not going to happen. The universe says, <laughs> fuck you, basically. But if you are the woman who's connecting to her energy, her aliveness, her passion, she's risking it daily, and then you have high standards, then absolutely everything is possible for you. The saddest question I get asked is when women say, hey, Bern, this is what I want. I want a guy who's honest and has integrity and is passionate and is spiritual. Is that too much to ask? And the look in their faces is almost as if they're saying, oh my God, this is never going to happen. It's absolutely not too much to ask if you become the woman who attracts that guy. And becoming that woman is simpler than you think. It's not easy, but it's simple. And these four steps are a great way to actually get there. If you think this is insightful, powerful, helpful in any way, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, if you haven't done so already, I'm going to give you a link on the description of this video or on this place right here where you can actually sign up to a blueprint webinar that's gonna share with you how to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Super powerful stuff, goes a lot more in depth in this video and it's absolutely free. Hope uh, to connect with you. If you have any questions for me, uh, submit a comment below this video and I'll either answer it personally or I will create a video just for you. Thank you again and look forward to having the most amazing 2016 with you.